Yo, what's up guys, AFC Adino here and welcome to a new video. Today, it's a beautiful sunny day outside, so I decided to take the sun outside into the game inside. <laughs> so we're going to be playing the sun team. I'm going to be using with a Torkoal, with a Venusaur of course, and another Manhattan. It's a pretty standard uh, triple core and then uh, we finished the core off with Conkeldor, Rotom and Gliscor. Hopefully, we can get in some fun games. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys are interested in the team, you can check it out on Patreon. There will be a poker based plus team building video on this team uh, if you want to check it out. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. But uh, yeah, I'm going to pause the video and we'll be right back. Okay, hey guys, we're back. Uh, let's see what we'll face there. Gonna be the first game of the day, of course. Gotta be curious, gotta be curious. My opponent has a Tyranitar, so I gotta be a bit careful there. Um, because Tyr Tyranitar can always go hard into my Torkoal, but I can't Wisp him. Uh, Wisp, Wisp looks free in general, but he does have the um, um he does have the Gliscor in the back, so I gotta be a bit careful. Um, I'm gonna start it off with my glass square in this one. Just because if I lead Torkoal and he leads glass square, if glass square is protected, it's not gonna be good. Gotta be interesting. Gotta be interesting. However, though, his Giga Drain switch doesn't look really good on my Venusaur. But I do think for this game, I need to weaken Tyranitar in case he's a Soul Fest. Uh, yeah, looking at this, my Venusaur can do a lot of harm to his team, but I need to weaken Empoleon. And I do need to weaken his, um, really strange that he let off with this though, but it's fine. We're gonna protect on the first turn. I'll make sure that I have my protect off. He clicks Teldrock turn one. Okay, so he's that kind of guy. Interesting. My U turn there. Hit it. A Rotom. As he reveals the Ice Beam, so. He did have Ice Beam. I wonder if he's Shook a Berry. He isn't even Shook a Berry. He, he just wanted to make that play, I guess. So if I go, into, go for the Defog, then he gets his shit off. Um, because mm, 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 Spirit is the one that most likely comes in on me. And a Volt Switcher. And I'm just gonna go into my Torkoal and click Rapid Spin. But yeah, him clicking Stealth Rock there, turn one, when he isn't Shook a Berry, is really interesting. I'm gonna go Torkoal and I'm gonna Rapid Spin there. Um, there might be a chance that Tyranitar is going to pursue me. But I want to get off my Rapid Spin. If he stays in, he's crazy. He should go Tar always. And I actually think that with Bulk Up Conkeldor, I can actually smack him. But that's what I am going to look for. He might click Pursuit on me, uh, which is whatever. I don't take too much damage from it anyway. Doesn't click Pursuit. I don't know if he goes for the Ice type attack. What is he gonna click? He clicks Ice Punch. Doesn't kill me, of course. And I wonder if he's Scarfed. I'm gonna protect first. As he goes Serp. Really interesting Ice Punch he made on me. I don't know if he wants to go for Sabir. I'll protect first anyway. He does go for sub, keeps outplays going. Go hard Darm here. Needed the HP back. Bit of a setback. Bit of a setback, but yeah, playing into it. Playing into a Tyranitar is never going to be easy, so I'm going to get in this. 
Can I U-turn to break the sub? But I need to keep my uh, my guy alive. That's why um, I'm going for the risky plays. Okay, okay, okay. So Redom needs to be alive. Uh, Redom needs to be there for class grant plus this. Need to keep him. Yes. I don't know if he wants to go for pills here. Gonna go Turkle. Um, I'd rather let go of Turkle, but I did need to get rid of the of the rock, so he glares me, which is fine, cause um, I get quite good positioning there, and I go straight into Darm. I just this uh catches the um, if he stays in to do whatever, still get to live his attack. He decides to go for sub. He's that guy. I'm just going to U-turn again. And I'll bring in Venusaur this time. This is sub glare. Most likely hidden power of fire. Which does even less damage to me. I get him Venusaur now. So he leaves storms. Beautiful. Since I'm faster now, it's gonna kick out Drainer. This is baiting Tar to come in, which was most likely Scarfed. Doing 59. There we go. But he didn't Ice Punch again versus me. I'm not sure what kind of Tar we're facing here. But I still assume, because he's not AV, that he's Scarfed in some way. I'm going to bring in my Rotom now. So now we need to take uh, take this game back. Ice Punch is me. And that was a crit too. This time I'm going to double into my Darm. This catch is superior and Gliscor. Because against Gliscor, I kind of want to Flare Blitz into him. Actually, against Gliscor, I can U-turn into my um, to my guy. Uh, the reason I don't want to Volt Switch is he could go Gliscor and, and block it. But I also don't want to Hydro Pump into Superior, because that's going to put me into an awkward position as well. So, I'll U-turn there. Get in my Glide Square and get some HP back be because um, with this HP I can U-turn against the Superior as he tries to go for a Facade. Cool. But we know what kind of Glide Square this is. I'm going to Stealth Rock here. Faster than him too. Tracks to SD. I'm going to Protect. I will most likely lose a Mon here. That's, that's completely fine. I was ready to lose a Mon. We're gonna U-turn. So if I give him... It depends on how fast he is, but he's slower than me. So I might, in the end, need to bulk up with Conkeldor to win. Or I need to keep Rotom alive for this one. So it's it's gonna be either that or that, but I'm gonna bring in this. If I live, I can sack something else, then I might. Because it's just to keep up the sun. He's gonna facade into me again, but now I will have Darmanitan. Uh, which is gonna flare blitz kill something, most likely. So, what do we sack here? I think Kunkelder can literally win the game. Rotom can still be cool. But I still want to have an option to 
reset the sun. So maybe I should let go of Gliscor instead, actually. I'm gonna set Gliscor here. If he clicks Earthquake, I sect Oracle, actually, but... And the reason I want to set Gliscor is I still want to keep the sun. And now I want to go into Darmanitan with the sun up. And click Flare Blitz. Because he's going to sec the Tyranitar. That way I can reset the sun with Torkoal. Because Tyranitar was the only way only way he could do that. But he has to go into, into Gyarados or something. Goes Empoleon. I don't know about you, but I will Flare Blitz the shit out of you, bro. I don't care about that crit though. Because you're opening up the game for my Phenosaur to win. And I can literally sack my Torkoal. And then I can end game with Fire Punch too. I don't know why he wanted to make that Empoleon play that, that, that badly. He might just U-turn onto me. But just, just for the sake of it, I'm gonna keep Torkoal alive because I still reset the sun. So if, for example, if Superior comes in, we Volt Switch because I can always sec this guy. We Volt Switch, get our Manitan in and U-turn. It really doesn't matter. Because... I can, with the Stealth Rock up, I can now look for an, an endgame with Fire Punch. It doesn't matter if he stops there. I will always I will always U-turn back. I will always U-turn back into my Rotom. And this is why I wanted to keep Torkoal as well. So we get in this. And by the way... Wasn't Darmanitan gonna kill the Empoleon regardless of that? Assuming he was spit death right. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure in the sun. That guy was still gonna die. So I don't know why he wanted to make that play. But we go for the U-turn here. And... I sec this. Ukelder can still Stone Edge the Gyarados. That's, that's whatever, bro. Smart play, I guess. Going for a double sub. Doesn't doesn't change the fact that um besides, can I not just go into my Kelder? Mock punch twice. Not that it matters. I will still U-turn him. And we're gonna go Conkelder then. Because I think I can win no game with Phenosaur plus Darm. If I have the sun up at least. And he tries it again. But my Mach Punch should be able to break this. And he won't be able to sub anymore. And then I have a final chance to reset the sun with Torkoal. So we just break this. And of course he doesn't kill me. I 
I don't think there's a there's a need to over predict there. Because he won't be able to click substitute. And I like I said, I still have the sun to reset. But I think I have to win this game with Venusaur. And I wonder if he lets me stone at him. Actually. Re we do reset the sun there. Earthquakes. Cause I'm gonna go for the win. It's life for me and Shao. Life for me and Chow. A sludge bomb. I don't heal much from Giga Drain. It depends on how much Gliscor is gonna do with Earthquake. Because I might grow there. That should be enough turns. Earthquake is going to do like 15. Because I literally Giga Drain this whole team. And then fake out. If I'm correct, right? Fake out. going to do 22. And then I heal everything back, yeah. So I think... It depends on if he's spit dev, though. If he's spit dev... I get to plus two, giga drain. I might not heal enough back. I think I have to go for this play. So he's probably going to Earthquake me. And I'll try to heal everything back with Giga. Yeah, 42. And then we, then we Giga here. If I... Because I, I will live the Earthquake. If I'm a real jet, I growth again on the superior sec. Superior. Then it would have been completely over. But I think this is safer because Gliscor comes in on rocks. Superior. Gliscor comes in on rocks, so I should be fine. Because I don't die to fake out there. And then I will heal everything back on the next thing. Because we already know he's fake. We already know he's fake out. Did I call? I might not. I might not have called. Hold up. I might not have called life orb. Life orb. But it's now. Nah, no, it's not gonna do enough for him. And then I heal everything back on him. Because I just Giga Drain here. And I have enough sun, sun turns to play around with. So he's going to sack something, but I'm going to heal too much back. I'm going to heal too much back. Where's Mian Shao? To uh, do it with Fake Out again, yeah? And I have Rook Slide in the back for, from Darm. Plus, I have Mock Punch in the back, too. Gonna fake me out again. But I always have a Scar Scarf Darm in the back. 
So my opponent decides to forfeit, and that is how we win our first game with the Sun Team. I'd like that's what I'd like to see, bro. That's what I'd like to see. So yeah, really playing through our to our win condition, like I said, Venusaur taking that attack. Um it was a bit tough in the beginning because see, he clicked he, he clicked Steldrak, so he was he was certain that I would protect or something, I guess, and then go for rocks. I guess he lives one earthquake. But the moment he let his Empoleon in. The moment he let his Empoleon in for just my Darm, I was like, okay. Because Empoleon was the one thing that could lift plus two Giga Drain from <laughs> from Venusaur and Ice Beam me. So I think he made an error there. He needed he could have gone Gliscor instead. Gliscor might have been able to live a Flare Blitz. He could have gone Gyarados instead to get off the Intimidate. Because it was a free swap, but he brought in Empoleon. Because he I guess he wanted that he wanted those rocks up. He wanted those rocks up. <laughs> I guess that was the difference, but yeah. It is what it is, guys. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this battle. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, and check out the team on Patreon. There's a poker-based plus team milk video on this team. Peace out.